Hi all, it's me Andy, junior data analyst. Today I'm going to present our passenger satisfaction report. I got data set from Kaggle and this is the data set look like. As we can see here, our data set has ID, gender, age, customer type, table travel, class, flight distance, and so on. And then I'm using Power BI Desktop to analyzing for this data set into an this analysis. As we can see here, for the first type, we're going to know how many passengers using our LS. As we can see for this picture, this analysis, we get 129,880 total of passengers. And for average of like this tent, we got 1.19k like this tent. Our LN has three type of travel class and mostly our passengers travel using business class. We got 47.9% for the business travel class and the second position is economy class we get 45.9% and economy plus we only get 7.2%. Next, we're gonna know the average age range for our passengers. We divided into four age groups. The first one is adults. The range age is between 31 until until 55 years old, and then the youth between 12 until 30 years old, and the older is the age bit more than 55 year old and the children is bit the age between 2 and 11 years old and mostly our passenger is adult we got 52.1% for the adults and the second one is youth we got 28.4% and 16.4% is ordinary and 3.1% is children we have three type of, uh, two types of travel, business and personal travel. Business travel, 69.9% for business travel and for personal travel, our airline offered. Hmm. Hi all, it's Mandy. Today I'm going to present airline passenger certification report. I got data set from the Kaggle and this is the data set look like. We had ID, gender, age, customer type, of travel, class, like this thing, and so on. Today, I'm using a uh, Power BI desktop for analyzing this data set, and this is our analysis, analysis look like. The first step, we're gonna know how many total of passengers using this airline. As we can see here, 129,080 is total of the passengers. And for the next step, we're going to know the average of flight distance. Our airline has 1.19k for flight distance. Our traveling has three class, this is business class, economy, and economy plus. Mostly our passenger using the business class, we get 47.9% and for economy class, we get 44.9% and economy plus, we get 7.2%. We also divide it into some groups for the age range. The first one is adults. It's the range between 31 and 55 years old and yield between 12 and 30 years old. Ordinary is the range age be more than 55 years old and the last one children it's between 2 and, and 11 years old and mostly our passenger is adults we get 52.1 percent is adults and 28.4 percent is youth passengers and for ordinary we get 16.4 percent children 3.1 percent our airline offers two type of travel business and personal travel 69.1% is business travel. We offer and for personal travels for this year we get 30.9% our airlines is personal travel. 
We can all know a thought which genders would travel a lot using our airlines. Mostly, our passenger is female. We get 50.7% for the proportion and 49.3% for the males. And then we also have two type of customer, returning customer and first time customer. Uh, for uh, the active 1.7% is returning customer. We, they often use our customer, our uh, lens to more than once and the first time only 18.3%. Okay, we also gonna know how which and uh, surface that perform the best. Overall, in fact, surface is the best one. We get four star for the service, and Wi-Fi, infrastructure, for entering, cleanliness, get location. We get three stars. Here we can see also the average of the departure delay and average of arrival delay. We get 14.70% for average of the departure delay and 15.09 is a threat of arrival delay and overall for satisfaction rate mostly our passenger is natural or dissatisfaction with our services we get 56.6 percent proportion for this year and for satisfied we get 43.4 percent thank you and if you have any comment Put it below. See you.